Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Um, today I have three really cute uh, Easter home decor pieces to share with you. Um, so let's get started. Uh, this first one, I got this floral foam cone say that three times fast um and <laughs> as you can see um i painted it yellow it was really really bright um so i decided to go over it with the uh, white chalk paint So as you can see here, I have this beautiful garland that I got from Hobby Lobby and um, I have these uh, tack pins um, that I was going to use uh, to secure the garland into place on the foam. Um, however, uh, after trying just the pin and trying some uh, hot glue, uh, I realized that um, the garland was just way too stiff and it just wasn't going to work out for me. Um, so I do end up uh, taking the garland apart and uh, just placing the pieces individually into the foam. And then once I get all of the individual pieces in, I just kind of arrange everything um, so that it mostly covers all of the foam. And then here I am um, just cutting out uh, the bottom of the uh, cone because I'm going to put some of the fairy lights on here and I wanted to be able to put the uh, battery pack in the foam itself um, so that it wasn't sitting out on the table um, beside the tree. And then once I get the battery pack into the foam itself, I just take the lights and uh, go around uh, the tree um, and try to just cover everything um, until I run out of lights. That's pretty much it. There's the battery pack. I did end up putting some batteries in um, so that I could show you guys how it lights up. Um, and uh, yeah, so here is the finished project. Um, let me know what you guys think. I think it's so super stinking cute. And then for the next uh, project, I took one of these uh, trifle or truffle, I think it's trifle <laughs> dishes um, from the Dollar Tree and some Waverly uh, chalk paint in the color moss. Um, and I'm just going to uh, go over this um, dish with 
two coats of the paint. Now that the dish is all dry, um, I take some of the um, floral foam uh, from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to hot glue a few pieces in place um, to use uh, later on. Now I'm just taking a scrap piece of um, wood uh, and I'm just going to paint it white so that I can make a little sign. Then I just take a little bit of the, um, I believe it's the Spanish moss um, that I got from Dollar Tree and just going to uh, cover those foam pieces. Um, and then uh, you see me uh, rummaging through my Easter supplies um, and I pick out some of the carrots and the eggs um, from the bag and then I'm just going to make my little sign um, and I'm going to take a wooden skewer and um, just hot glue it to the back of the sign. Once I cut the um, skewer to the length that I want, I'm just going to put just a simple coat of white paint on the skewer and then I'm going to poke it into place. So now I'm just going to play around with the placement of the carrots and the eggs and once I get them where um, I think they belong, I'm just taking the hot glue and uh, gluing them all into place. Now once I get all of them into place, I feel like it just needs a little something. Um, so I grab uh, the thin jute from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to make a very, very simple uh, shoestring bow um, to put on the sign. And then once that's completed, um, I'm still not quite done with this project. <laughs> um, so I grab uh, the thicker jute that I purchased from Amazon, which I will link below. Um, and I'm just going to run that around uh, the top of the dish, uh, just to give it that little extra something.
and then I'm still not quite satisfied so I take one of those burlap bows that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby and I just glue that um, to the front of the dish um, and I think that's exactly what it needed and now I'm finally done so here is the finished uh, project um, I think it's so adorable um, so let me know what you guys think and then for the last project I take uh, one of those um, galvanized um, flower pots that they have at uh, Dollar Tree um, and took some of the foam um, and here you can see that I'm just kind of gluing it into place um, so that I can start uh, putting the floral into it. Now earlier I cut the uh, pieces off of the stems so that I would be able to push them into the foam. So now I'm just going to um, put them all in the foam and just um, arrange them in some fashion that I think looks good. So now as you can see um, the glue did not hold um, to keep the foam in place so I really piled it up in the bottom of this pot um, to get it to stay uh, and then I'm going to take some of the white rocks from the Dollar Tree and uh, just Put them all around the foam so that I can put some of the moss in and not have to use too much. So here you can see that I actually think I'm done with this project. And then I remember that I have bunny ears and a bunny tail. So I figure I'm going to uh, use them and make it look like I have a bunny in my flower garden. So I take the ears and I glue them onto skewers and uh, just poke them into the foam. And then I just take that bunny tail and it has a little clip on the back. Um, and I just clip it to the front of the pot um, to give the illusion. And uh, here it is in all its glory. How cute is this, guys? I think it's too, too stinking cute. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, and uh, let me know what you think of all of them actually um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did I hope you will give it a huge thumbs up um, if you haven't subscribed already I hope that you will join us and um, share with your family and friends and um, thank you again and I will see you next time bye